Peace in from the black holes of Dakota Toritary, United States of Amateur Radio. My name is Stan Jibalisco, proprietor and operator of amateur radio station W1GV Whiskey One. Good vibrations. My strong suit when it comes to knowledge in theoretical ham radio is antennas. And a viewer recently came to me with a single paragraph containing enough questions to justify the publication of an entire book. It would take an entire book to even begin to answer the questions that he asked, and there were only three or four of them, but they were so packed with uh, curiosity that there's only one way that I can answer you, my friend, and that is to obtain a copy of the ARRL Antenna Book. The ARRL Antenna Book. You can buy it directly from the ARRL, American Radio Relay League, at www.arrl.org, or you can find it on Amazon.com. But in any case, get the latest edition. Again, it's called the ARRL Antenna Book. This is where I got all the knowledge I have about antennas. In fact, it's where I got just about all the knowledge, theoretically anyway, that I have about amateur radio. As for practical experience, the only way to get that is to do it, is to build antennas, test them, and find out how well they work. And there's only so much that theory can do. As my physics advisor said at the University of Minnesota Institute of Technology in 1974, when I first met him, one experimentalist can keep a dozen theorists busy. So theoretical questions are fine if you're curious about those things and if you enjoy just messing around with the theory, that's great. But if you want to get on the air and make an antenna work, the only way to do it is to do it by experiment. And if uh, and it, it can never hurt you to have the best antenna book for ham radio that exists, as far as I'm concerned. I could never even begin to write a book that would approach this in quality, and I'm not even going to try. The ARRL Antenna Book. So, my friend, thank you for your questions. I'm sure a lot of people have questions like this. It has to do with resonance and things like that in antennas. How important is resonance and a whole bunch of other things. Buy that book, read it from cover to cover, and then build the doggone things and get on the air with them and tweak them and test them and see what works and what doesn't work. Because sometimes what should work doesn't. And what couldn't possibly work does. Murphy's Law has two faces. One, if something can go wrong, it will. And the other is, if something cannot go right, it might. <clears throat> that is my answer to your question. Thank you for your question. Keep them coming, but this is the only way I know to answer this one. Get a copy of the ARRL Antenna Book and read it and have fun. 73 from the Black Holes of Dakota Toritary, United States of Amateur Radio. Peace out. Stan Jibalisco, Whiskey One, Good Vibrations, saying so long for now. <laughs>